questions about the creatures. So I thought I would bring a couple here today and sort of introduce you to the uh, two couple members of the family. Uh, we got a bunch of them. Um, I, I in fact, don't sell them very often. There's, um, uh, there's a few that have been adopted out, but uh, it doesn't happen much. We tend to keep them close to home. They're, uh, they're sort of my, my children, these guys and the dog. I have lots of these little guys, these little creatures of mine that I make. I've been doing them for years. They're not something that I teach or something. I actually very infrequently sell them. Um, they're uh, a, a little bit uh, a little bit attached to them. So I tend to hold on to most of them. A few of them have been adopted, but for the most part, they tend to stay close to home. to make they're very like animated I don't there's you know they just kind of f happen organically I don't I couldn't really tell you how I put them together they just kind of come together they each have their own sort of personality um, which is brought about largely by using eyes and that really does uh, bring a lot of life to things it's interesting to see people's reaction to the eyes um, it's sort of been this ongoing study of human nature that I've been conducting for a very long time um, I, I love to see how people will respond people some people hate them, some people uh, find them fascinating, some people think they're cute. Um, so it is interesting to see. I think whenever you use eyes in inanimate objects, it kind of throws people because um, there's an uh, incontinuity there that is sort of confusing. <laughs> Um, I brought uh, a couple here today to introduce you to this little guy here. He's made. Um, he's got two eyes. This one, and uh, he's he's made with a, a polka dot agate spikes as well. I like to use stone spikes in some of them. Um, and so this little guy is actually hollow form construction. So there is no uh, support in here. It's all it's all hollow form. Um, so it's self supporting. And then I brought also. A little, this is my, my new thing, I've been doing these guys, these little flowers, they're my flower specimens. Um, so these uh, these are kind of fun too. Both of them um, incorporate doll eyes, they're not actually prosthetics, they're doll eyes that I've used on both of these. Um, but again, it's just, it's fascinating the sort of life that the eyes bring to, um, to the, the sculptures when you use them. And then, of course, I cannot not introduce you to the twins. There's two of them here. Um, they are actually, um, their eyes on, uh, on uh, bird feet. They're uh, humanely taxidermied bird feet. Not for everybody, but um, I just kind of, I liked, I liked the look of it. I thought it was kind of an interesting um, thing. So we have them, they're the, the twins. And uh, uh, they, they sort of get into trouble every once in a while, but for the most part, they seem to behave themselves. <laughs> of the use of eyes in, um, in jewelry and in, um, in beadwork, in fact, as well. Um, I, there's something that I, our 
I have just fascinated me my whole life. There's something uh, that I have used in my work for an incredibly long time, um, and they are something I think I will always use um, in my work.